Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. In this one, we're doing a little clean with me, Legally Blind edition. First, we're gonna pop a couple drops in the diffuser of liquid sunshine and gratitude to set the mood. Also put on a playlist, I did this off cam, I'm listening to R&B today, sometimes I like my soca. I need something in the background while I'm cleaning because I don't know about you, but I hate cleaning. To make the cleaning sash so much better, I picked up this set from Sage. The bottle sold me. All you gotta do is pour that vial in, the whole thing, and then fill up the rest of the jug with water. When that's done, put the top on and shake a shake shake. You can tell in this video, I went a little OD, spraying a lot. It smells heavenly, I couldn't help it. So the thing about being legally blind is a lot of times you can't see specks and flecks of dirt. So what do you gotta do? Wipe, 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 and wipe again. And when you think you're done, no, 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 wipe again. And when you think you're done, you see what my hand is doing? I'm glazing over the surface to make sure it's smooth. I'm using my finger pads to make sure there's nothing that my eyes can't see that I'm missing. Nothing is worse than showing you guys a matcha moment in the vlog and having specks in the background. If you watch the vlogs, you already know. I can't help it, okay? But on these days when I'm deep cleaning, I'll use different cloths for different surfaces and I'll spray and let the spray sit for a bit as I really focus on the edges of the surface or sometimes a drawer like you see. I just wanna make sure that I get everything as clean as possible even though I can't see well. Since today is the day that we're doing the most, once a week I pull the stove out a little bit and I wipe the side. You'd be surprised how much grime gets here. I don't know how or why, but every time I do this, I'm disgusted. And even though I can't see it, I still gotta wipe it clean and push it back in. Even wiping down the side of the dishwasher. It's funny how the things you use the least get dirty the quickest. Why is that? When that's done, I'm gonna wipe the handles of the fridge. Something about having a white fridge, I don't know what it is, but it always looks dingy to me. What's worse, a white fridge or a stainless steel one? Them fingerprints though. And then we're gonna wipe the little mirror, do the little details like cleaning the salt and pepper shaker. I love those little zoo animals. And then when that's done, we're gonna take off these, I don't even know what to call these filament parts of the stove. All I do know is one day, wherever I go next, I hope that the stove is a flat top surface so I can skip this step. Until then, I'm gonna put the metal part in the dishwasher with a couple dishes, because we're trying to be eco-conscious here. And wipe all of the stove top. You'd be surprised how gross it gets underneath those metal circular parts. Forget to wash those dials and the backsplash. So this is a deep clean video, which means even the tray for the dish rash gets wiped. And we're gonna sterilize the sink as well using a different sponge, not the same one for the dishes, cause that's gross. When that's done, I'm gonna wash the soap dispenser too, because it's white, even the small amount of soap on it makes it look grimy. Once that's rinsed and dried, wipe the underside, put it back in place. Ooh, we're gonna try to tackle this today. This vent, which barely has any air, is horrendous. It's been like this for five years, so I mean, should I be surprised? I use five wipes, and this was the cleanest I could get it. I tried, I tried. Cleaning well means you gotta put a little effort in. You can't just wipe around things. You gotta take everything off, spray a little bit, and wipe a lot. Sometimes soil spills from my plant, so this is a good opportunity to get everything squeaky clean. When you're using a spray cleaner, you should spray, let it sit for at least a minute so that I can gently loosen the surface debris, and then that way you don't have to wipe too hard. One thing I love about really cleaning is that I get to rearrange things better the second time around. I'm putting back the votives that you see in the backdrop of my YouTube talking videos, but before I do that, might as well wipe them out. Oh, 
Over to the iMac. Why does this screen get so dirty? I'm gonna use two wipes, one slightly damp and the other's dry to make sure that this is sparkling. I also wipe the desk, the back, the keyboard, everything. Same goes for my accent tables. Anything that has a surface is getting a good wipe today. I never thought I would say these words, but sweeping is really hard when you can't see well. I find I spend three times as long sweeping the floor as I used to when I could see perfectly. That's because I think I sweep and then I miss a spot. So my trick to sweeping well is to bring the dustpan to the dirt instead of the other way around and then sweep again. I also went in with a dry Swiffer after, but I didn't want to bore you with that. So now we're just going to take out a wet Swiffer. Put that on and start with the kitchen. As you can see, I'm doing the same thing I did when I was sweeping, which is go over the same surface a million times. I have to. I have to make sure there's no spots. And the only way I can ensure that is by swiping a couple times. This is why you need a good playlist when you do this. Otherwise, you're gonna be super frustrated. Or you can use this as a moving meditation and reflect on what you want from the day or the week ahead. Don't forget to go to those hard to get spots. That's the whole point of the Swift, where you can go under the bed, any cracks or crevices behind the door. Now on to the bathroom, everyone's least favorite spot to clean. tackle the tub and shower first. I love this cleaner because it does most of the hard work. You don't need to put in your elbow when you have this and the tool that I'm using, the sponge on a stick. I know it's not called that, but I don't know what it's called. It gets to all the highs and the lows so you don't have to feel like the hunchback of Notre Dame while you're cleaning. And then to make sure there's no mildew, just go in to all the cracks, crevices, grout with the scrubbing tool. Talk about flushing something down the toilet. We're gonna to put some Clorox in and then use a silicone brush to cleanse. Wash the brush by flushing the toilet, then allow it to dry by securing it between the lid. I'm gonna take a Lysol wipe. Whoever came up with this packaging, I need to have a word with you. I'm gonna wipe the top, the side, the handle, the underside, the seat. You know, while we're here, let's just deal with the situation. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I have a problem. It's obvious, it's clear, but the PR packages are not helping. Uh, all this back there, that's not just me. All that, you see? That's not just me. But now that it's mine and it's here, we gotta get it organized. I'm taking everything out. I'm moving my Muji acrylic shelf, putting the bin in. I would prefer to have more of those slim ones that you see on the left, but Bed Bath & Beyond doesn't make them anymore, so I got this larger, still black one from HomeSense. I'm packing everything in as neat as possible. Like I said, 90% PR, don't come for me. But if you have a better solution for organizing all this stuff, let a girl know down below. That looks better, no? Now to the bedroom. You gotta take everything off, take a slightly damp paper towel and a dry one, lift the glass, wipe both sides carefully, put it back in place. There's also a little mirrored part on this nightstand that I'm gonna wipe too. And you see I'm looking on an angle to make sure there's no spots. I'm gonna get into every little bit of my headboard too and just do the extra stuff. Yeah, you see that, right? I'm wiping the leaves on my faux plant. Bet you didn't know it was faux until today. And cleaning this little decorative shelf too. I need to give both sides of my glass door a good wipe, the inside, the outside, and the storm door. They get dirty so quick with all the construction happening in the neighborhood. It's really gross. While I'm at it, I'm gonna give this mirror a quick swipe. Something about this moment was so therapeutic. Just wiping, I love it. Next up, the patio. I didn't intend on doing all of this, but you know when you get in the mood, you just do the most. 
So we're gonna rinse the AstroTurf. I should have done this before I washed the tub because then I had to wash it again, but hey, it makes a huge difference. And one swipe with the Swiffer and we're good to go. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let me know down below. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.